Hey guys, Papa Pete back with another pickup video again. And you know what, Coco? I've got a very special pickup video this time. I say that quite often, but I really always mean it. And today, I've got a couple of fantastic pickups for my Xbox collection. But those aren't even the things I'm most excited for. And if I'm more excited than great pickups from my Xbox collection, then you know they're special. Something that's really... Uh, Back from my days when, I mean, I was very young, uh, from some of the games uh, I had when I was a kid. Not games per se, but anyway, let's just get to it. I'll show you exactly what I mean, and once I show you, you'll know exactly why I'm at a loss for words. Ready, Coco? We'll be right back. Papa Pete, Papa Pete, the old ass gamer. Grown up by the age of 50, you don't have to. So, first and foremost, even before we get on to the pickup videos, what do I got to do, Coco? I have to have a special craft beer from right here in the Maritimes, and this is Gahan. Snowbird Juicy IPA, 6%. Now, Gahan Brewing is actually a Prince Edward Island brewing company. And they've expanded and put restaurants all throughout Atlantic Canada. There's one in Halifax, right downtown, which is phenomenal. One in downtown St. John, and also one in Moncton, New Brunswick. There may be more. There's got to be more of them around, too. Probably in PEI as well. But uh, I don't even know about other cities in Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. But those are the ones that I've been to. And I always like the restaurant, and I like their beer. I don't have a Gahan glass, so I'm going to drink it out of my uh, Montreal Expos mug. Hail Expos for OEB Pete. Snowbird Juicy IPA. Look at that beautiful color. Nice, cloudy, juicy IPA. Here we go. That is a very, very sweet, nice beer. Oh, yeah. Snowbird Juicy IPA, Gahan Brewing, out of Prince Edward Island, Canada. Right on. So first, I'm going to open up an Xbox game that I picked up from an auction on Retro's great Canadian video game auction site. And this particular one's the first time I bought from this gentleman, Trevor Sparaboom. I don't know exactly how you pronounce his last name, but I'm going to say Sparaboom. And he's the owner of the Game Cave in Penticton, British Columbia. So this came about 3,000 miles to get into my hand, about 5,000 kilometers. So I'm really looking forward to this. It's one of the ones I had. I have a short list of uh, Xbox games that are some of the higher value ones. Because like I've always said, I try to get the higher value games first. Um, not always that easy to do, but I've really done a pretty good job of it. So uh, there aren't that many left on my list, to be quite honest. Let's get this out of there. And here it is. I have got, and this is a nice looking copy, of Psychonauts. Psychonauts. Getting more and more difficult all the time to find. And this is a beautiful mint copy, manual, disc. And it's like a third person platforming style 3D action game. Um, not incredibly uh, common, and but it's quite highly rated. Well, it says around here, 9 out of 10 from Play Magazine. But anyway, uh, game that I've heard of a long time, never have played. Can't wait to check it out and happy happy to add it to my collection so thank you very much trevor if any of you ever get a chance to join these auction sites and my next one is going to be also from an auction site this one in particular retro's great canadian video game auction site look for auction sites around your area if uh, you're in the states or if you're in canada this one is nationwide so gotta love it now the next one i picked up fragile handle with care was actually one that i purchased from a flash sale uh, they actually have a Sunday swap meet on Retro Game Bin Auctions. So it's just another way to buy different games. Man, I love these sites because I have always found the people that are on them to be A1 to deal with. And you get top quality stuff. And this is one that I saw at Too Many Games a few years ago. And the first year that I started collecting Xbox games, I couldn't get over how frankly expensive it was. And, yeah, it is that expensive. And it's going up all the time. But this was what I thought was a very good deal. 
and I got Jet Set Radio Future. JSRF, the solo copy, you see it all the time in the combo with, what is it, with Sega GT or something like that, uh, which is relatively inexpensive. But this copy alone is very difficult to come by. Let's take a look. Look, there it is. Manual, disc, all looks very good. Uh, very interesting game style, of course, being an Xbox exclusive as well. Again, one of these games that sort of started, Jet Grind Radio was on the Dreamcast. The Dreamcast ceased production. Sega started making more of their console, uh, more of their games and their franchises over for the Xbox. So it's really almost like a, a sequel or a continuation of the Jet Set Radio franchise by Sega over on the Xbox. So fantastic game to have, one that's been on my radar for a long time. But you just don't see. And this was a very good deal. And, oh, I'm sorry I forgot to thank who gave it to me. Uh, the sale was by a guy named Jesse Gessel. And it was a great deal. And thank you so much, Jesse. I really appreciate it. Beautiful game. So this brings me to my last pickup for this video. It's going to be a really short one this time. But this is something that's very special. Here I got a couple of fantastic games for Xbox collection. Frankly, two games off my short list of some of the more rare items that I need for my Xbox collection. But yes, these, these troop them all. Now just gonna take a minute and open up this package. So there it is. Now this is something that I saw online to order. Uh, through Amazon and I wrote the guy a letter myself and said you know I'd really love to be able to purchase an autograph copy from you and what it is it is a copy of Once Upon Atari How I Made History by Killing an Industry by Howard Scott Warshaw and you look inside Dear Papa Pete enjoy the journey I did yours truly Howard Scott Warshaw I can't wait to read this book. Howard Scott Warshaw, I have a harder time saying his name, I know his name, Howard Scott Warshaw is one of the most prolific game creators for the Atari uh, 2600 back in the day. I mean, infamous, infamous. He created Yars Revenge. He created Raiders of the Lost Ark. And of course, he created E.T., which is, you know, is what he's most known for. Frankly, he did it in five or six weeks. And I still, to this day, my personal opinion is that E.T. is a wonderful game, but it's over everybody's head. And E.T. was sort of marketed towards the masses of little kids. And what we got was a game that was very detailed for the more experienced game players, which is the root of the problem. People say it's not good. It is good. It's fantastic, but it's very difficult. It's very hard uh, for most people to play. So when things are overly hard, overly difficult for people, they tend not to like them. Anyway, let's summarize that up. But at the end, at the, the bottom line is, Once Upon a Tarry, Howard Scott Warshaw, autograph copy. But that's not all. When I was talking to him, he said, hey, I also have something else that you might be interested in. I sell these at conventions. And that is a copy of Once Upon Atari, the uncensored story of what happened behind the scenes at Atari. These, this is a copy that he sells at uh, conventions. And it as well is autographed, Dear Papa Pete, enjoy it. Yours truly, Howard Scott Warshaw. So extremely, extremely happy to have this. And I can't wait to watch it. I actually already have downloaded it off uh, Galaxy of Games, so GOG.com. You can buy it there. Uh, I don't think I've watched all four episodes of that, but this is all of them wrapped into one on a DVD, so that much better. Very, very happy. Very honored to have this. Uh, I've been writing back and forth. I let them know that I had received them, how happy I was, and how much is, you know, just to let them know that, you know, those of us who are into video games really appreciate what he did. We actually understand, you know, the flack that he gets. He's in embraced it. He's embraced the, the controversy surrounding E.T. in a very healthy way because I think he realizes as well that right, the nature of the problem isn't in the fact that it's not a good game. It's that it's really an extremely complicated, complex game, which true gamers ought to love, but the casual gamers don't care for that much, which is just coincidental with the demise and the crash of 1983. Anyway, guys, 
two fantastic games for my Xbox collection. Jet Set Radio Future and Psychonauts. And how do you get any better than autographed copies of Howard Scott Warshaw's Once Upon a Tarry documentary and Once Upon a Tarry paperback novel. I'm thrilled. Just thrilled to have them. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you for spending a little bit of time with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And Coco, what will we do? We will see you all next time. Take care. Papa P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. P, Papa P, the old ass gamer. If you haven't grown up by the age of 15. What is going on, guys? I'm CM Retro Gaming, and you are watching Papa P, the old guy gamer. What the hell?